Martin Harris, portrayed by Liam Neeson, and his wife Liz, played by January Jones, travel to Berlin for a biotechnology conference where Martin is scheduled to present a paper. Upon reaching their hotel, which also serves as the conference venue, Martin realizes that he has accidentally left his briefcase containing their passports at the airport. In an attempt to retrieve it, he takes a cab while Liz proceeds to check in. However, a truck accident obstructs the cab's path, causing it to plunge into the river. Fortunately, the cab driver named Gina, portrayed by Diane Kruger, saves Martin but disappears amidst the commotion when the authorities arrive. After being in a coma for four days, Martin's memory is fuzzy when he wakes up. Upon watching a news report on the biotechnology conference, he remembers that he is expected to attend. With that in mind, he discharges himself from the hospital and heads to the hotel. There, he spots Liz at a reception and rushes to embrace her, but she rebuffs him and introduces her husband, Aidan Quinn, as Martin Harris, denying any knowledge of Martin's existence. Martin roams the streets of Berlin in a desperate attempt to solve the mystery surrounding his identity. He eventually manages to locate Gina, an undocumented immigrant who holds multiple jobs, but she is reluctant to assist him out of fear of deportation. In a bid to make sense of his situation, Martin pays a visit to Professor Bressler, a German bioscientist with whom he had previously corresponded regarding a plan to revolutionize food production. However, he is stunned to discover that an imposter, Martin B., has taken his place. After a heated altercation, Martin is forced to leave the premises by the authorities. To gather more information, he admits himself back to the hospital for further examination, where a nurse suggests he hire a private investigator. During one of his hospital visits, a hired assassin kills the nurse and attempts to abduct Martin. However, he eludes the attacker and escapes from the crowded emergency room. Martin seeks the assistance of a private detective, Ernst Jürgen, a retired Stasi officer who listens to Martin's account and believes his story. Jürgen advises Martin to locate Gina once again. Martin eventually tracks her down and requests a place to stay for the night. In exchange for her hospitality, he presents her with a watch gifted to him by Liz on their anniversary. While Martin is taking a shower, the hitman barges in, but Gina overpowers him and kills him using his own lethal weapon. The duo then escapes in a borrowed taxi, but their getaway is short-lived as they soon find themselves being chased by another assassin. They manage to evade their pursuer by hiding in a discotheque. Martin and Gina rendezvous with Jürgen, who provides them with updates on his investigation. Jürgen has a contact at the airport scouring through security camera footage in search of Martin's whereabouts. Additionally, he has reached out to Rodney Cole, Martin's colleague, who he believes could offer valuable assistance. Determined to reclaim his life, Martin tails Liz to a photography exhibition. Despite initially feigning ignorance of Martin's identity, Liz pulls him aside and confides in him that she is being coerced into betraying him, but assures him of her love and loyalty. As Martin B. and his accomplice close in on them, Martin and Gina narrowly escape. Rodney Cole, Martin's colleague, arrives at Jürgen's office, but as soon as he realizes Cole's true identity, Jürgen takes his own life by ingesting cyanide. Martin and Gina successfully retrieve their passports and a significant sum of money. Later, while waiting at the airport for their flight, Cole approaches Martin and abducts him into a waiting van, where he is zapped by the second hitman. Gina, witnessing the abduction, follows the van in a stolen cab. Cole and the hitman take Martin to the top level of a deserted parking garage and reveal to him that he is, in fact, a government assassin, with the name Martin Harris being his alias. Martin had mistakenly believed his cover story to be true after waking from his coma, hence Martin B. was brought in to complete the mission. However, before the second hitman can eliminate Martin, Gina rams her cab into the van, crushing the hitman and causing the van to plummet to the ground below, with Cole still inside. Martin's memory is now fully restored. He realizes that several months ago, he and Liz had planned to bomb the hotel where the biotechnology conference was being held. The bomb was intended to kill Bressler and frame Muslim extremists who opposed Prince Shada's progressive agenda. Martin and Gina rush to the hotel where they find Liz at the reception, copying files containing crucial information about a new type of corn. She also sets the bomb. Martin manages to alert the hotel's security personnel just in time to evacuate everyone. Meanwhile, Martin befollows Bressler, intent on killing him. Liz attempts to disarm the bomb, but fails 
resulting in a massive explosion that kills her. Amidst the debris, Martin and Martin B engage in a brutal fight, with Gina as a witness. Martin ultimately kills Martin B using a shard of glass. The next day, Bressler and Prince Shada freely give their new corn to the world, in their mutual effort to end world hunger. Using additional fake passports found in his briefcase, Martin and Gina leave Berlin together, as Henry and Claudia Taylor, 